talked about an up tempo style that, that fits your game. Can you talk about uh, how you guys plan to push the ball? Oh, definitely. I think I'm one of the fastest guys in the country. And uh, with the offense that coach is putting in, and with the fast break style that we're getting in, I think that's gonna, I'm going to flourish in that offense. I think Carrie Fitness is going to flourish in the offense. Evan Gordon, Chris Colvin, JB, Bruce Line. I think everybody is looking forward to pushing the ball up the court and getting the defense down and scoring easy buckets. Jahi, you have, uh, you know, you're a local kid going to the, the nearby university. You have so many Twitter followers. Um, your YouTube highlight videos have hundreds of thousands of hits. You have a lot of popularity. How much pressure does that put on you to perform? Um, I try not to think about the pressure. I just try to think about, you know, taking the Sun Devils to another level. I know there is a lot of pressure coming in on me, but I try to not, not take too much of that load onto myself. I just think about the season having a better season and taking the Sun Devils over the hump and just getting better teammate and just making my teammates better every day. Do you feel like there'll be, I mean, just having your friends, your family around, I mean, sometimes that can create distractions when you're playing for the hometown school. How will you deal with that? Um, I try to keep them out of, out of our locker room. You know, Sun Devils here are our family as well and my friends here as well. And I wouldn't want to, you know, tell them any personal business that my friends have from outside of Sun Devils. So I tried to keep them outside of the locker room, just try to keep everything inside. Um, I just know that, that they're my family, so I just got to keep everything in house. How do you block that exterior, that pressure, or that you know, expectation? How do you block that? Out? I just try not to think about it. I know it's something that's there, but the more I think about it, the more it's going to affect me. So the more I don't think about it and just keep focused, I think the more, the better I'll play and the more I'll keep that out of the way. Do you not, for example, read stuff or listen to the radio or anything like that? Do you um, of course, it, pop, it, it pops up, and people talk to me about it. You know, I listen, and I have my opinions about it. But the more that I try to keep that out the way, I try not to think about it as well. You know, I just try to focus on the season. Since I wasn't able to play last year, I just think that it's best for me to just focus on the task at hand. Gee, is there any part of your game you need to affect more than others? Um, I'll definitely say the mid-range jump shot. Uh, a lot of guards nowadays like to shoot threes and just take it all the way to the basket. But I think if guards have a lot of have a great mid range jump shot, it keeps the defense honest. You know they can't they can't really guard that, come off the pick and roll, which is the hardest thing to guard in, in basketball today. I think a small guy, undersized point guard, having a mid range jumper is definitely something that I need to perfect. Coach said, don't expect him to have a Superman pull the shirt off and be Superman when he takes the court. Somehow I get the feeling that you you kind of think you're Superman at times, in a good way. Mm -hmm. Like you expect greatness out of yourself. Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, I definitely have a certain confidence and swagger about myself. Um, I don't want to seem arrogant or cocky, but I definitely have a confidence about my game. I have a confidence about my teammates' game, and I think that together that we can can be something super. Um, I just have a, a, a nice little swagger about myself, confident about my teammates and myself as well. So I think that us coming out on the floor together, not just me and myself, I think that we can be something super. How, how, do you, how are you going to alter your game at this level compared to the way you played in high school? Because I, I was talking to Coach about this. Clearly, you can get to the ball anytime you want in high school. Maybe you can still do that at this level, but obviously you're playing with a higher caliber of teammate and also, more importantly, a higher caliber of defender inside and outside. So how do you think that's going to work? Um, in high school, I just had one speed. I was just go fast. In college, I think for me to get defenders off balance, I think me changing my gears, changing my speed is going to be something that can help me get to the basket a little bit easier. Um, having a mid-range jump shot, like I said before, I think that will keep the defense balanced and not have them just commit to every move I do. And having a, a nice little three ball, I think that's going to keep the defense honest. And once I get those things going, I think my teammates are going to be, they, they're going to be open. And I can hit the wings and the shooters that we have, I think we can just, just keep pinpointing guys, pinpointing guys. And I think the post down low, I think they, they have the post moves to just, just sit and nail guys. And I can feed them. I want to feed them. I just think that that's how I'm going to change the game. You know, <coughs> bigger defenders with me having a jump shot, I think they can't back off. And with me having speed, the quickness I have, I don't think that they can come up too close. Me having the shooters in the corner, the bigs down low, I don't think that they can help too much. So I think it's going to be tough for the defense this year. This time last year, you weren't here. Just real quick, between Twitter and Dave, I share most social media for you and Dave. What does it finally mean to, to be able to be uh, you know, part of the team? Photos or the defense or questions you get? Oh, well, you know, I was part of the team as I feel, and my team, I think my teammates feel last year in December. So it's not me being excited to be around my teammates because I've been with them since December. Been training, summer school, skills, individuals, but, you know, this is definitely exciting, an exciting thing for me having the evening here for all my teammates and the, uh, the season coming up, you know, it's definitely something that I'm excited to be, be coming around again, you know, in high school I was always ready for first day of tryouts, now I'm ready for first day of practice, first games, and just getting focused, so I think that it's, it's very exciting for me, and I feel like it's very exciting for me to have new teammates to get out there and go to work with.
that's really tough for me to miss just the basketball season in general, whether that's junior high season, high school season, but especially since it's college basketball season, and I slipped up doing something that was 